Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll going to introduce you to a fantastic tool that will take your creativity to the next level. It's free and accessible worldwide tool that can help you generate creative images like never before. And this tool is Leonardo AI. So stay tuned and keep watching. Have you ever struggled to come up with creative images for your project? Or maybe you're an artist looking for a tool that can help you generate ideas. If that's the case, then Leonardo AI is the ultimate tool for you. It's free, accessible worldwide, and it has recently received an update that enables it to compete with other similar tools such as Blue Willow AI and Midjourney. So in order to access the tool, all you need to do is click the link in the description, then click on Get Early Access. After that, enter your email and click on Count Me In. You can then join the Discord server by clicking on Join Discord. If you already have a Discord account, you can join the server directly. If not, create an account and then join the server. Once you've joined the server, you'll be prompted with this window right here asking you what your language do you speak. Select your language or you can skip this step. You only need to join Discord for the first time and after that you can use the tool directly from your browser. Now it's ask me what will you do with our AI? I'll select create art. Then it says that you have to acknowledge that Leonardo AI is a separate web application. Okay, let's select this and this. Then we are finished. After that you will go to this tab right here and click on form. Fill out your name and email then go back to the website and click on launch app and select this option right here. Once you're in, you'll see the home page with featured models that Leonardo AI has been trained with. As you can see, the AI is way better than other tools, and it's much cleaner than Midjourney. If you click on a certain image, you'll find all the details, including the prompt used to generate the image, the negative prompt which is the things that the user wanted to exclude from his image, also the resolution, date, guidance scale, and model used to generate the image. Leonardo AI has been trained with different models, including Leonardo Diffusion, RPG4, Vintage Style Photography, Dream Shaper, Leonardo Creative, Pixel Art, and Spirit Creatures, and the list goes on. As I said before Leonardo AI is free because the free plan gives you 150 generations per day. However, they also have a $10 per month plan, $24 per month, and $48 per month. To use any model, simply click on it and then click on Generate with this model. If you scroll down, you'll find example images created with that model. Let's put Leonardo AI to the test. I'll select the Leonardo Diffusion model and type in my prompt over here, a loyal golden retriever with an American flag flying behind it, standing in front of a historic colonial building with brick walls and white columns. Here, you can activate the prompt magic to get a more accurate output, but keep in mind that activating this has twice the token cost. Then, select the number of images you want. I'll select 4 and also note that the number of images will affect the number of tokens used. Now we are going to select the image dimensions. You can choose between a wide or square aspect ratio. Also, if you have an image, you can use the image to image feature and upload it as a prompt. Now let's click on generate and see the results. As you can see the results it looks amazing and definitely meets my expectations, I love that all the images have the same theme. If you click on a certain image, you're gonna find all these cool things that you can do at the bottom, you can remove the background, you can unzoom the image, it's like the outpaint feature in Lexica, also, you can download the image. Okay, let's generate another one so you can see how amazing this tool is. Let's say I want to generate a lovable character of a fluffy cute baby tiger with four legs pastel light gray color, little ears. I'll activate the prompt magic, and the tool says it will use eight tokens. After clicking on generate, I get my images as you can see right here, and they look so cool. I'll upscale this one. As you can see the quality is very good. Now there's this cool feature that Leonardo AI offer which is the remix tool. Let's say you were scrolling and exploring different AI arts and you like this picture for example, you will see this button right here. If we hover over it, it says this will copy the prompt in all generation settings over to the AI generation tool. 
So let's click on it and as you can see it's going to take you to the generating tab. Here it copied all the prompt and the negative prompt, also the model used is the same, so if we click on generate we're going to get images that are almost identical to the one that we used as a reference. Alright so here is our result all four images look exactly like the original image, but I really like this one right here it's pretty cool, now this feature will blow your mind. If you go here to AI canvas and grab an image and add it here. Let's change the size for a little bit. Now if we copy the prompt used to generate this image then place this square box like this, and hit generate it's going to expand the size of the image and it will give you four different variations that you can choose from, and you can choose the one that merges well with your image. So let's do the same for the rest of the image and as you can see the image is expanded into a bigger picture. Also what we can do is change any object that we don't like. Simply select the brush tool then select the object, After that place the box on top of it and hit generate. And as you can see it gave me 4 pictures that can choose from. I will probably stick to this one. So that's it. That's how you use Leonardo AI, an awesome tool that can compete with Midjourney. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.